Welcome to Small Looks Scrutiny, where I'll be giving the conceptions I'll be shaped to my true heart and where films, docs, or TV episodes slash specials will say how does the project land and where will it be completed to the Antheneum. And in this world is how I engine my opinions and give out while afterward I can also I can also see all of you people have your own too. So don't forget what's in your thoughts when hearing yourself on someone's filmography. I'm not the only one who's doing this too and exploring subjects like this. You decide if you like it or not. Nobody's wrong with their own unique perspective. So by kicking off uh, the first episode of my first um, film review today, um, which will be revealed in further moments, um, before I buckle up, I would like for you guys to subscribe to the channel and knock the like button down below and comment on whether what other filmmakers of their works should I have thoughts on X Lux on standby all right now guys um if this isn't the place um of the many films you've ever seen throughout your entire life then why in the world are you, are you doing when skipping or ignoring the things you ain't interested in today you know, risk one and one only for whatever you take and how many movies you watch in a day. You can miss a lot of things and later on regretting not watching that day when finding the right one. And today I'm talking about Office Space, 1999 flick um, directed by Mike Judge. Um, and, and to my opinion here, uh, closely a year or more, I've entered the 90s train after capped another destination bottle filled with Fight Club being John Malkovich and American Beauty. I said why not wa knock one off from this uh, 99 uh, Mike Judge comedy film, Office Space, starring Ron uh, Livingston, Gary Cole, and Jennifer Aniston. Now, by the first deep inspection, I do really enjoy this one, and secondly, by trying again once more during the ongoing pandemic, it seems wildly and considerably fun to go back and say, damn, I love this movie so much. And so to why I am so in love with Office Space is because of its per progressive plot. Uh, we're centered by the main character named Peter Gibbons, who is an employee working at Inatech, where his job is a software engineering and an exhausted man who's tired of being placed in the same act being tossed around in this particular environment. And the head of the company, who's on the ground when talking some sense into the boss, which in fact his name is Bill Lumberg. Peter's feelings towards the repetitive job ignited a turnaround to purposely sink into a new solution awaiting. And I can feel that this storyline popped up in similar films like Click, The Mask, and Career Opportunities, which isn't a good thing to go for dumping a continuing uh, format like that. Each of those selective films are to me obviously pointed in a different approach of the format. Like one of them in the films, uh, using an object that obtains power within you reaching it, getting stuck with your dream girl or applying no pressure to previous problems is exactly why their plot is tossed something else while providing a similar format. Um, and that's just how I think of it once finishing once finishing in what I just watched days ago. Um, let's not forget that anybody should pick up those films and give and give a try too and 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 what the examples were revealed seconds ago related to office space um, the performances onwards of David Herman as Michael Bolton Michael, Michael Bolton aka um, not the actual singer uh, a John Autu as Samir and Dietrich I'm, uh, hopefully I'm saying that name right Dietrich Bader as Lawrence are, uh, and these casts, you know, their performances are truly enjoyable when being the few friends of Peter. Um, they mostly tackle um, bringing what it's like living in a cubicle workspace, except for Lawrence, the neighbor up. And for the film's pacing, um, did indeed uh, succeed since it didn't quickly abandon what's Peter's momentum to levels of concern, which daily he has been removing whatever he does at work and just come around with no worries of missing tasks that Lomberg has given to Gibbons. What's also very cool close to the ending point it was how um, Peter and his friends are set for a new solution that will change how they feel towards, towards the software engineering um, environment. 
Um, this time it takes one friend to pull in his buds to change their, perspe their perspective and attack to pursue a sneaky price. It shockingly, it's sh it shockingly pinpoints um, the flick as if it was planned in the last minutes, finishing the script with a bang. Twice, as we see, is a journey um, awakening again. Now that injection um, serves more time and sparks a new value to feed on the next act, which again, why I saw this being long but very appreciative before we even get to the credit scene. Um, I'm surprised the duration of this film came up like an hour and a half, but it really felt like two hours and five minutes digging into it. The score was silly yet approachable to scoop tons of hip hop songs to deliver to deliver a rebellious look on the comedy. Um, and honestly, what I said laughed um, intensely, just more of the giggles which I accept from the great from the great calm. And me and for me it's hard it's very hard to get a comment or a tearful laugh. So usually some will click into me or some, some will not. Um, the cinematography isn't as concentrated to be leaning um, to be leaning for the particular luck of pulling distinctive views upon everything. It's pretty standard and not too different in trying to expand uniquely on cameras. I assume Mike Judge was just was just wanting the audience to eat more of uh, his hilarity on it, on writing by the dialogue and performances from actors and actresses. I get this energy around the film that you would wish you can do because of uh, what this film does around Pete and but in reality you know mimicking what could undeniably warn you that that will keep you in deep trouble afterward you're lucky in everybody else picking up office space really like that's what it's that's what it's like um, someone skipping their duty and the big piece of the business flying around him her or her side of life tons of us will eventually relate that not all of us like uh, like or really sink into their job as others do you know wouldn't be very moving like if someone steps up with a passion and looking brave of themselves of how um you know skipping a job you know just being that rebel that just doesn't want to do what you've been doing for the for years or months or days you know with endless work that's just just quite boredom for you and just doesn't fit doesn't fit you in your and in, in your space um and like you know what here's I mean, here's what um Mike Judge and the rest of the film crew think about it I mean this this was their vision on office space which I love so you guys should just check it out and it's certain that it's a that for me it's a gem in my books of comedy Obviously, it would be probably one of my top 10 comedy films of all time. So now just to think of that, Office Space has already been added on that list that I hadn't yet revealed on 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 my uh, top 10 comedies. So now I can now from that from that review of Office Space, I can just give that away from you from knowing that that, that Office Space has has a spot, and which is very intriguing that. This came out right, right before the the two thousands arrived. So yeah. But yeah, that's pretty much it of my review on Office Space. Um, hopefully you guys like it, and hope you guys see the movie because honestly, I mean it's, it's it's worth watching. It's worth watching actually. Um. And to end the show, um, I just wanted to say. Um, I hadn't been um, posting a lot of stuff on on the podcast. Honestly, you know, it's been it's been like almost two months that I hadn't been making a, a video. And um, I mean, the last time I did one was was the Kelly Minogue's debut album. And you know, I was just and you know, it's great to return. Um, great to come back. You know, I was just I was just very busy with with um, making another project that um, I won't um, tell. Uh, I won't say. Uh, what's the project about but um I was really I was working on this for about three months already more than three months almost four months actually and I was always busy with it I always try my best trying to um work on it for almost every day and um that's that's the reason why I hadn't been uh, posting a lot of stuff on the podcast so you know I'm just letting you know that I'm back and that I'm I will be uh, making more episodes here I think I'll eventually post uh, two episodes um, a, a week, 
maybe for now because of how you know I've been absent for two months and friend I should and I should be releasing a lot of that I should have been releasing stuff you know the previous weeks but um I was again busy so um just help you I'll help you guys get notified with with um with when would the video come out you know you just have to go to my channel and, and you'll see it'll be popping up the next week and so yeah I don't know if I'm going to be starting with two videos next week but I know it'll be coming in sooner so so just look out for that and um and this is yes this is a goodbye for, is this a goodbye for today for small luck scrutiny um and and logs off to relaxation <laughs>